Now every driver needs a tin lid and normally you can distinguish them apart from anyone else by the colour and design. Now I'm in a very special part of Alex's shop at the moment because take a look at some of these. Alex, these helmets are absolutely fantastic. Tell me about them. Well, we have here, we have Eddie Irvine's race-worn helmet when he raced for Ferrari in 1997. I can see it's slightly chipped there. Chipped as well, the full works flies on the front. Um, it's a lovely piece, it's certificated from Ferrari. Um, something like that's going to set you back about five and a half thousand pounds though. Wow. Tell me about this one. This is Nigel Mansell's helmet, um, used in an advert for Texaco when he raced in IndyCar in 1993. Now I noticed that Nigel's actually signed the back of that. Yeah. How much is that worth? It's about four and a half thousand pounds. Four and a half thousand pounds. Well, I'm interested to find out about these lower down. Now, I can instantly recognise them by their designs. I'll know that that's Senna and this is Schumacher. Tell me about the Schumacher one. Are these uh, uh, authentic or are they replicas? These are all replicas. Um, they're based on particular races where the drivers wore their helmets. The Schumacher one is based on him winning in Japan when he became world champion for Ferrari in the year 2000. Uh, it's designed slightly changed. I remember it last year in mid-season being a blue top. Why was that? They changed his helmet. I think it was to do with uh, his teammate Rubens Barrichello having a very similar colour helmet. Um, it was blue on the top, white round the uh, middle and the red on the bottom again. And they changed it so the mechanics could distinguish between the two. Well, I can instantly recognise uh, Jensen Button, Villeneuve, Damon. Is there a big demand for all the drivers' helmets? Uh, it really is the popular helmets. You don't tend to see the lesser drivers. Um, again, it works the same for original helmets. Prices do vary depending on what race. If it's a race worn helmet, a race one helmet, um, someone like Michael's going to set you back about £20,000. Well, how much would these replicas be then? Replicas vary. Um, the bell helmets, such as these, the center one's going to be about 3000 the Michael about three and a half thousand. No, it's way over my budget, I'm afraid, but I'm kind of keen on these smaller guys. Tell me about these. We have eight scale here. You've got Ayrton Senna and Damon Hill, yep. uh, made by Mini Champs. Buyers as work, they're about 10 pounds a piece. Right, so I could collect the whole set, really, couldn't you I? Could do the whole set. And how about this? What scale is this one? This one's half size. You've got Senna again, yep. Damon here. Um, maybe the same material as the real race helmet. Visor works, opens, full lining inside. Uh, straps the full works. Right, well, uh, off the top of my head, I think I'll take one of these. Very thanks, good. Thanks a lot, mate.